Bienvenidos al Jarama. The 2018 FIA European Truck Racing Championship in Jarama, in Spain. We're expecting a spectacular final. The circuit north of Madrid celebrated its 50th anniversary last year. A step-by-step -step modernization of the circuit is scheduled until 2021. Jochen Hahn already crowned the 2018 FIA European Truck Racing Champion wants to enjoy the last races of the season. There's no space for mistakes on this track at Harama. I'm pretty sure there will be tough fights in the first race. And to be honest, I don't want to get involved there. I know that there are still a few decisions to be made for the overall places in those races, and I want to be as fair as I can be in those situations. Start to finish victory. That's my goal here. Start Ziel Sieg, dann bin ich aus allem draußen und dann kann hinter mir sein, was will und ich bin nicht der Buhmann bei dem Spiel. A quick check on the standings ahead of the final ETRC weekend. Second should be safe for Adam Lachko, but the third overall is still open and super exciting. Antonio Albafetti, Norbert Kisch, Sasha Lenz, they all have a chance for third place. Spanish fans love truck racing at Harama, especially their local hero, Antonio Albafetti. is a three-time champion in the European Truck Racing Championship and a real Madridian. For us, P3 will be a very good result, you know, as we start uh, the, the, the season. But of course, I mean, we will fight for, for everything, you know, we will fight as I tell you, I will do my 120% if it's possible, so we will try to fight even for second position. But uh, yeah, to be realistic, third place will be very good. Antonio is only six points in front of us and Sasha is really close behind us. Uh, I think three points or something like that. So, you know, if we're lucky or if we do well, I'd say, not luck, but if we do well, we can end up third in the championship or if we are a little bit unlucky, then we can end up fifth, you know, so it's... Uh, it's a pretty, pretty big difference between the third position and the fifth position in terms of, you know, recognition. But in points, it's like really small. So, you know, a small error can make a lot of difference in the overall standings of the championship. Sasha Lenz showed a strong performance throughout the whole season. He's the only driver who could score points in every single race this year. Definitely a boost for the self-confidence. Can he hop onto the overall podium on Sunday? I'm realistic and I think it's almost impossible to beat Antonio here on his home track. A mistake from him is our only chance. Fifth in the championship would be okay for me. Fourth, super good. And third, of course, absolutely amazing. Sunday morning and time for qualifying. The five and a half ton trucks go to the track and show their 1200 horsepower. Kahan is looking for pole position once again. Board with the 2018 champion Jochen Hahn. In the crucial part of the track, the S turn 180 degrees left, followed by 180 degrees right. grandstands and then up the hill. Kahn takes pole position this Saturday, his seventh of the season, seven tenths faster than Norbert Kish. Han 
is delighted. Race one is in the afternoon. Jochen Hahn will start on pole position here at Harama. Beko, the 2018 champion, set perhaps for yet another race win. Alongside him is Norbert Kish with a good chance to gain some points over rival Alba Fetti. We are not usually so good at the start. So, you know, the first step is to survive the start, to try to stay uh, behind Johan and front of Antonio. And then, you know, we will see what happens. It's, uh, it's always very hard at the start. So, and the first turn, very dangerous. Uh, there, there's been a lot of crashes there. So, I will try to survive. With the full family support, third on the grid is Antonio Albafetti. I will try to make a good start and from then see what's going on. I will try to make as much as pressure as I can to Norby and uh, try to be like uh, one track uh, all together. <laughs> Next to Albafetti on the grid is Sasha Lentz. I want to stay out of the Kiss Albafetti fight. Maybe there is a situation between them I can take profit from. After the next 12 laps, we will know more. OK, the drivers could also make some money as fortune tellers. They're away. The drama in Harama is on. 12 laps to go. Hahn leads the pack, entering the first corner ahead of Kish, with Albafetti close behind him. The heat is on. Kish and Albafetti fight. And it's not long before the drama really kicks in. Albafetti goes wide, Kish gets up the inside, he gets tagged by Adam Lachko, and there's Mayhem. A huge pile-up at Turn 3. And the damage was, you know, huge. I was a little bit lucky because probably maybe the damage is the least on my track. Uh, but for example, Andre and everybody else was really unlucky with the damage. And you know, I really suggest everybody to take a look at the video and uh, decide it for themselves that the, the stewards made the right decision. Because in the end, I was penalized that I caused the whole, I caused the whole accident, which is, I think, is just you know the most unfair decision of my whole racing career. To the rear camera of Jochen Hahn. Of course, I mean, I understand that he wants to keep the, the position, so he goes into, the, into the, the, the sand, you know, and he was fast into the sand, he couldn't break, and, and then he hit me, uh, I was out, and... After that, I think he, he tried to get in again, he span and everything happens then. I touch him because he go from outside, completely left, and he say no, he make a space, but it's better don't speak about this. The rear view from Norbert Kish. Get your own picture of the biggest crash of the season here. What's going on in the head of, of Adam Lachko? I don't know, it's hard to say, you know. Mm, I'm pretty sure he likes Antonio Albacete better than me. He said it. It's really nice when he's thinking this, but I don't like somebody more than less. I'm racing and I'm racing for my points and I would like to make the best. Norby said uh, that Adam did it on purpose because Adam likes you more, a lot more than Norby. Please. He said it. He said. Yeah, but we cannot, we cannot start to do these uh, games, you know, to, to think in that way. I mean, in, 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 the, in the races, everything is so quick. A red flag is the result of this crazy situation. The marshals go to work to clear up the mess. 
and there's a lot of mess to clear up. The drivers are OK, the fans sit and wait. Jochen Hahn leads the pack on the restart, ahead of Alba Fetti, Lentz and Lachko. Number six, Anthony Janiek, the Frenchman who could have won a race at the Nürburgring this year, is next in the queue. Janiek is a race-by-race -race entry in the FIA EGRC. At the end of lap seven, Adam Lachko attacks Lentz. The Czech makes his move up to third place. After 12 laps, it's Jochen Hahn who takes the win, his 11th win of the season. He's 2.1 seconds ahead of Alpafeta in second place. Adam Lachko, despite the damage, completes the podium in third. As so often this season, Team Hahn celebrates in the pit lane. Hey, <laughs> Jochen. <laughs> Yet another win for Jochen Hahn. The winners head to the podium. Adam Lachko now one step closer to taking second overall, and Alba Fetti building his advantage over Kish. A kiss for the race winner, Jochen Hahn. Confirmation of the result. Hahn from Alba Fetti and then Lachko. Lentz fourth from Jose Rodriguez and Rene Reinert. Eighth, Shane Britton. The Brit takes pole for race two. But there's a lot of repair work to be done for many of the teams. That's the first year that I'm constantly fast on this track. I think we did a really good job with the setup. I'm feeling super good in the Iveco, and this leaves me very optimistic for the rest of the weekend. Race two on a late afternoon in Harama. As always, it's that reverse grid of the top eight. Shane Britton lines up on pole position. Steffi Halm is on the outside of the front row. Row two, Rene Reinert and Jose Rodriguez. And last on the grid is Norbert Kish. The stewards have seen him as the driver who caused the pile-up in race one and penalised him back five spots. Yeah, I am angry. How angry? Very angry. Uh, you know, not even angry, disappointed. Disappointed, yeah. Yes, disappointed in the system and everything, you know. It's, it's the most unfair decision of my whole racing career that, that happened today, you know. It's, it's like a nightmare. The Spanish fans probably didn't care too much about that situation, as long as their hero Alba Fetti is not involved. Race two underway. This, Norman Kish's view. And here from the rear camera of Jochen Hahn, the acceleration of the Iveco is impressive. Up front, Shane Britton is ahead of Steffi Halm. Between the two, though, now is Rene Reinert. Behind them, Rodriguez, Lenz, Lachko, Hahn and Alba Fetti. On lap four, Lachko makes a small mistake and Alba Fetti gets past him immediately. I mean, Adal make a mistake in, the, in, in turn three and he goes off and then I, I pass him. And then uh, it was a small fight between Sacha and Jochen, and I passed Jochen. And then I said, OK, I stay here behind <laughs> Sacha, no problems, you know. Every point counts in the final fight for the championship situation. On lap seven, Rene Reinert makes his move against the race leader, Shane Brereton. Reiners, the owner of a logistics company, can extend the gap over Britain over the final few laps. Britain for the second time this season on an overall ETRC podium. 
In the meantime, though, Norbert Kish is on his way back to the paddock. Technical problems from the race one crash forced the driver of number three to quit the race. This is a disaster for the Hungarian. At the finish line, René Reinhardt wins. Four seconds clear of Shane Brereton. The six-pack behind all finish within two seconds. For the second time of the day, it's the German national anthem on the podium at the circuit Harama. Second is Shane Britton, an impressive performance for the British driver. Steffi Halm takes third. The results of race two then, behind Reiner, Britton and Halm is Jose Rodriguez fourth, then it's Lenz, Albafete, Halm seventh, Stefan Faust eighth from Adam Lachko, and then Anthony Janiek. Time for a quick season recap with Rene Reinert. We've had many good moments this season, especially here, Hungary and in Most, but also a few DNFs and the accidents with Steffi Halm at the Nürburgring and Le Mans. Not the best memories, unfortunately. Unfortunate, that's the right term for Team Don't Touch Racing. The truck of Andre Kurzim took massive damage during that race one smash and had to undergo a complete rebuild. The whole truck racing family was helping out during the long night shift. At 3.30 a.m. they had a quick test in the paddock. But Maggie was good to go again. That's truck racing. It's a family. It's so nice to see how everyone is helping when there is serious trouble. When you need something, you can go to every team and they will help you out with their parts. It's give and take, and it's a big family. Time for the autograph session in the FIA ETRC Fan Village. And then for the driver's presentation. At the end of qualifying, Jochen Hahn again the fastest. He will start from pole position. I really want this win now. I'm really looking forward to this race. And I want another win. Antonio Albafetti lines up second, four tenths slower than the German. On the second row, Lachko and Lenz. And the enthusiastic fans are in good voice. The start of race three. Can Albafetti get his nose in front and take a home win? On board with Adam Lachko, who started from third. As always, it's very tight down to the first corner. As Lentz behind Lachko, Jose Rodriguez on the outside, and Kish makes a good start. He moves up to fourth during the opening lap. But from lap two, it's clear to see there's something wrong with the Mercedes of the Hungarian. The truck is handling badly. Up front, Hahn leads, then Albafetti second and Lachko third. A wild slide from Lentz, who's fighting for fourth with Kish. All of this under the surveillance of Team Bagheera. Further back, there's a fight between Ray Coleman, Irving Klein, Nigel Vaught and Jose Rodriguez Sr. The fight of the old guns. Board with Andre Kurzim now. Lap six behind Anthony Janiek. There's a little contact and the Frenchman goes wide. Kurzim goes 10th, Janiek 13th. 
Han and Alba Fetic are doing good, consistent laps around Harama, but the gap is widening. And Norbert Kish has to retire from the race once again. Three non-finishes in three races. He was lying fifth at the time. Actually, I'm happy about this race because uh, after the start, we go side by side with Sasha. And I suggest everyone, especially Anton Arbaset and Anna Blasco, to see that video, what we did in the first lap with Sasha, because in the same corners, there was not enough space for Antonia and Adam. Interestingly, there was enough space for me and Sasha. In the end, it's Jochen Hahn taking his 12th win of the season. He's followed home by Antonio Albafetti and Adam Latko. <laughs> Sasha Lentz is fourth in the race and now fourth in the championship as well. He can't take third anymore, but he has secured fourth over Kish, who's fifth as well. Shane Britton takes eighth and so yet again pole position for race four. Jochen Hahn, the race winner by a second from Albafetti. Latchko third ahead of Lentz, Reinert, Jose Rodriguez, Halm and Britton set for that pole position for the last race of the season. Driving this racetrack this year, just incredible. Gibt's eigentlich keine Worte dafür. Ich bin mega happy, mega happy. Mega happy. So it's Jochen Hahn, the champion. There's one race of the season to go. Shane Britton will start it from pole position, and he wants his second FIA ETRC win of the season. Steffi Halm lines up alongside. She probably has just the same mission. Another potential winner, Jose Rodriguez, in the Rebo Connaught MAN, starting from third. And all around the circuit, the noise of chainsaws. Away from the start, Britton leads the pack down towards the first corner. Behind him is Rene Reinert, who started fourth and immediately moves up to second. Behind him, it's Rodriguez. Halmer's dropped back to sixth, but gains one position to regain fifth. Jochen Hahn's view as he tries to move up the order. That's Sasha Lentz ahead. Hahn goes through on the inside. The fans are loving the action. And up front, the battle is on for the lead as Shane Britton is under attack from Rene Reinert. The German has better traction out of the corner and goes through into the lead. Great racing between the two of them. Latko comes up to attack Rodriguez. But Rodriguez goes second at the expense of Breton. Latko runs fourth. Behind Latko, the Steffi Halm, and then Jochen Halm. For Andre Kurzin, though, it's not the best weekend. Only two points for him here in Harama. Halm is on the attack. She moves up to third. Rene Reinert wins the last race of a long FIA ETRC season. He's confirmed to be back for 2019. Jose Rodriguez takes second and Steffi Halm third. The top three on the podium. Germany, Portugal and Germany. Jochen Hahn takes fourth place out of Latchko fifth and Antonio Albafetti rounds out the top six. Here are the results. Shane Britton dropping back to ninth, but he does win the Grammar Truck Cup. He's won all four races this weekend in this category, and so takes the Grammar Cup Truck title here in Harama as well. For Rene Reinert, though, it's been a good weekend and another race victory. A super exciting race from start to finish and with a super nice ending for me. Antonio Albafetti knows how to make his fans happy. The final results of the 2018 FIA European Truck Racing Championship season. Jochen Hahn takes the fifth title of his career, 121 points ahead of last year's champion Adam Latchko. 
Antonia Albafetti is the winner of the drama filled battle for third, ahead of Sasha Lentz and Norbert Kish in fifth. In ninth, Jose Rodriguez, ahead of Shane Brayton and Ryan Smith. On the Sunday evening, the official prize giving ceremony with all the drivers and the freshly crowned European track racing champion Jochen Hahn. <laughs> Next year, Jochen Hahn will have the number one on his truck and he's on a mission to take title number six.